times of acute crisis in this pandemic medical oxygen shortage has become a common term and a common news headlines we let's dive into the intricacies of the process of distribution and the problems with the distribution and the concentration of production centers which are some of the major reasons for shortage of medical oxygen across india now if we focus on to some of the statistics that have been revealed it says that that india is one of the exporters of medical oxygen then why we are witnessing so much shortage in the last financial year itself we uh, exported nearly twice the normal exports that we do the normal exports are around 4500 metric tons and last year we exported nearly 9000 metric tons of liquid oxygen which could be used for either industrial or medical purposes now even after so much export that we were doing our country itself is facing acute shortage why peso is the organization which monitors and ensures the supply of medical oxygen across all states and union territories in india its petroleum and explosive safety organization as per its calculations a icu patient in india who is on a ventilator support would require 24 liters per minute however a non ventilator icu patient would require 10 liters per minute of oxygen now kerala is the only state that is as of now having a surplus production in medical oxygen and it is easily supplying to the states nearby goa karnataka tamil nadu are some of them to cite now what has been the reason for the same kerala we have witnessed in the last year one of the plants which is kmml which is the kerala metals and minerals limited a psu undertaking at kolam which used to uh, use the waste and convert that waste into medical oxygen and this plant itself has been important inox palakkad has another important location and the productions have been targeted solely to medical oxygen uh, all the oxygen that was produced for industrial use has been curbed also the production of nitrogen and argon as of now has been curbed and it is whole heartedly producing i uh, medical oxygen the inox plant at palakkad similarly we have prexire india which is uh, located at arnakulam which is again manufacturing uh, medical oxygen but all among all of these inox definitely across india has the highest share in terms of production now this production has been going through last one year and we have witnessed that if we look on to the geographies we have taken some of those as example for example maharashtra produces 1 uh, 1250 tons of medical oxygen however as of now maharashtra is facing shortage and it is importing uh, oxygen from uh, gujarat 50 tons on a daily basis uh, from the reliance plant at jamnagar itself similarly madhya pradesh as of now has a requirement of 250 tons per day but there are no plants to fulfill that requirement uh, gujarat has a requirement of 500 tons as of now this is uh, some of the statistics we have collected based on the recent covid surge and the recent increase in the demand now when the demand has been shooting up we need to understand where has been the production so if we focus on the production we have four major companies working with medical oxygen production that is inox air lindi india goel mg and national oxygen and then we have prexire uh, as another important uh, industry and regionally if we talk about kmml uh, was one of the examples that we cited so here we have a map indicating the locations of the plants for production of medical oxygen in uh, india by inox so these are the centers of inox there are 32 plants across india and as you can see most of the concentration lies only in the region where there have been industries that have been established that means either either it is in the form of iron and steel industry heavy metal industry or in the form of consumer durables pharmaceutical industries and Uh, more requirement for healthcare infrastructure so we have lots and lots 
of concentration as it can be seen in the regions of Gujarat, Maharashtra and South India. But as we can see, we have uh, the whole of Chhattisgarh, Madhya Pradesh, Rajasthan, Bihar, Northeast India that does not have the, uh, the basic medical oxygen production centers. Now this is just the data for INOX. If you go on to the production centers for Linde, Goyal and National Oxygen, the production remains the same, uh, mostly localized in the regions of Kolkata, then in the regions of Maharashtra, Gujarat and uh, in the south in the regions of Andhra Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. So we need to understand that the production centers needs to be redistributed. Inox believed that it would be increasing its more uh, production centers. So one plant takes nearly two years to set up. And there have been two plants that have been started by Inox, one in West Bengal and one in Uttar Pradesh to meet the urgent requirements. However, Inox is planning to bring down more plants in Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh where the requirement is high, the population density is high but the distribution is not uh, proper. Now why if the production centers are localized there is a shortage in other parts of the country. Firstly, it requires cryogenic tankers and India have limited cryogenic tankers that can run 24-7 that means even if we have the production that is done, the transportation is the major issue. The distribution and the supply chain is not maintained. The next is the lack of jumbo and dura cylinders. That means I need at least double the number of cylinders. If one cylinder is coming empty and I am able to supply a full cylinder, I require the number of empty cylinders to be filled and there is lack of those cylinders. Also, the refilling cost has jumped up. A normal cylinder which could have been refilled for 100 to 150 rupees now takes 500 to 2000 rupees for refilling. So there has been increased cost with transportation. Logistics has become uh, expensive and therefore distribution of medical oxygen has suffered. So uh, even in the areas which are remote, far flushed, there are no good roads and network, no healthcare facility, even if medical oxygen is provided to that region, there are no skilled workforce who can use and uh, give the patients the medical oxygen. So there have been numerous issues aligned to the same problem. Now what could be the best way out to resolve this issue? The best way is to install pressure swing adsorption units, the PSA as we call, which we have discussed in our separate class on uh, medical oxygen versus industrial oxygen. Now when we are installing the PSAs, the idea is the oxygen production would take place there itself. So where we should install the PSA? Definitely in the rural areas, in the remote areas, in the far flushed areas where the supply chain gets disrupted or the transport cost increases not only the cost increases the time also increases as of now time is again crucial so we need to supply the medical oxygen as early as possible and if it is a far flushed area supplying that would take definitely higher time so we need to also have in hospitals an infrastructure for huge storage tanks then creating green corridors for trains uh, which can carry medical oxygen also airlifting medical oxygen specifically when we focus on northeast so far northeast is not witnessing lots of cases but in case there is an emergency that comes up in northeast how would we handle that situation of providing medical oxygen and uh, ensuring that there is no shortage so shifting oxygen production ideas is one of the things where we say that industrial oxygen would not be produced as of now or the proportion in which it would be produced would be reduced the basic reason there has been a decline or a depth 
in the iron and steel consumption iron and steel consumption is linked to what linked to automobile sector linked to consumer durables where already the demand is low so the requirement for oxygen in those sectors is relatively less so all those iron and steel plants which have their oxygen centers can now provide medical oxygen so that is one of the things that could be done on priority and that is being rolled out as of now and also bringing in more pressure swing adsorption units now these units as of now we have seen 182 units would be brought into india at an estimated cost of around 200 crores and of this only 33 as of now have been installed around five of those have been in madhya pradesh the remote areas four in himachal pradesh and so on and so forth we have a long list for those but the idea is as we mentioned, it is the inequitable distribution, uh, uh, inequitable production centers across India and the distribution chain is not smooth. So we require more cryogenic tankers, more smoother transport and flow, more uh, jumbo and dura cylinders specifically in the areas where uh, pipeline is not there. So most of the hospitals in the rural areas, far flanged areas would not have the pipeline network and therefore supply can only take place through these jumbo and dura cylinders. So reducing the transport time Cutting down the transportation cost and providing this at the earliest becomes a need of the hour. So this was about the geography of medical oxygen, why there has been acute shortage coming up and how this could be resolved at its earliest. We would be covering many more contemporary issues. Stay with us. Have a wonderful day ahead.